this weather. Who can resist the swim outdoors? It's so nice. You've been swimming isn't it? outdoors? Well, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm not to say I resist it, I have resisted it. <laughs> well done, you. I would like to swim outdoors. Yeah, well, I love it. Yeah. Going to well, the ponds last week. But for the residents of Bath, that dream's become a reality, right? Yeah, thanks to a major restoration of the UK's oldest public Lido, which went from this to this. Nice. Wow. Never want oh, to love miss a out. Josie's headed down there to take the plunge. Morning, Josie. Morning. <laughs> Good morning, Dermot. Good morning, Holly. Oh, it is so nice to be in these waters after a massive 20 year restoration. So, this is the oldest Lido in the UK, it closed in the 1980s, and today they have opened their doors to the first pay in public. Sam, I bet you're over the moon, oh, aren't you? Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. I walked through the gate this morning and I was crying already before I got down to poolside. Just to see people in the pool, to hear the noise of the water moving, to hear voices enjoying themselves, it's the best thing ever. And so much work has gone to get us to this point. I'm so delighted that everybody's here. We're finally open. I mean, I'm local, so there's been whispers of it for yeah, a long, 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 long I know, time. I know. Um, and a community of you got together to make this happen. How did that yeah. come around? So 20 years ago, some local people, Anne Dunlop, Roger and, and Janice, spotted that this building was going to be going out of out of use and thought we've got to save it so they started a campaign they got together a group of local people 20 years later 120 volunteers have helped get the gates reopen again and we are so delighted that people finally get to enjoy this space it's a new community facility it just happens to be 200 years old absolutely beautiful and now people are in enjoying it it's great so this is 200 yeah. years old i know i know oh, you've done so well know, it's it so gorgeous. beautiful yeah. it's absolutely yeah, gorgeous oh, all that time i mean what would this have looked like 200 years ago do you think? actually not too different than today because we've worked really hard to enable people to almost swim through history so the georgians weren't great on access so we've removed some of the steps we've got facilities they wouldn't have had like a really nice cafe and lockers but other than that, this is how it would have looked today, at 200 years ago, pretty much. Wow, because they were big into their swimming, weren't they? We've they got were. the Roman Baths Spas, were, and then we've yeah. got, now we've got this. Yeah. And you're right on the river we as are. well. The river's just there. So this, for the Georgians, was all about immersing themselves in water. Nobody would have been lane swimming. One of the biggest clues to that is the building behind you is the ladies' pool. So the men were swimming naked in here. The ladies were in that little building. They didn't see the gentleman and they were swimming in this tiny little space, so they were just bathing and enjoying being in the water. So, but the men were swimming naked in here, They then. were, Did you, yeah. you think you'd be bringing that back at all? Or uh, maybe you... not, maybe no, not, right, no. All right, no, maybe not that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is absolutely beautiful, and it's quite warm, it's, it's not lovely. too bad. Yeah. And in the winter, is it gonna be any different, or? So at the moment it's 23 degrees, we've had a very hot week, as everybody knows. It'll gradually get cooler, and in the winter we will be offering cold water swimming, and it'll get down to about five degrees, for the people that really love it cold. Most importantly, we're putting a heat pump in the river and next year we'll be able to heat the water artificially up to 28 degrees. But it's the best way to do it for the environment. We didn't want to put a carbon thing in here. So we'll be heating it with a heat pump from the river. Sam, thank you. Thank pleasure. you. You and your team have done so well. I'm so proud of you guys. And we're joined by some swimmers now. Hello, Vic. Well, um, what Mick brings you down here today? Um, well, it's really local for me and we've been really excited about it opening for a long time. So. It's perfect. It's a beautiful building and perfect weather and lovely warm temperature. So, yeah, it's great. It's gorgeous. And, um, and, and Nicola, how important, I mean, you're part of the local community. You're all locals, is that right? Um, how important is this place to the local community? Oh, really important. I mean, it's surrounded by greenery. We're near the canal. People can cycle here, walk it from many parts of Bath. It's, it's great. My whole family swim, and it'd be lovely when the kids start swimming here too. I'm going to be a grandmother for the first time in two weeks, and this is up there with that. Oh, congratulations! Congratulations! And do you, um, are you all originally from Bath? Yeah. So do you know anybody with any like um, previous connections yeah. that would have used this place? My friend Jill, um, she has told me that she remembers swimming here when she was about 13, 14, and she used to walk around in her little bikini when she was... You know, she remembers it, so she can't wait to come here. Oh, lovely. I think you're having a good time. I'm having a great time, yeah. I really enjoy open air swimming. And to be here on the day of opening is just, yeah, something. It is gorgeous. The, the pool's gorgeous. And I can't believe how beautiful it is. They've obviously used the gorgeous bath stone. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing 
missing from here now is Dermot O'Leary in his budgie <laughs> smugglers. How, how do you feel about that, Dermot? Do you want to come down in your budgie Sign smugglers? Sign me up, Joyce. Hold I'm him down back. there. <laughs> we need, no, ex we need no excuse to get the smugglers down. out, Joyce. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't wait. We can't wait. They're not bringing the naked men swimming back, but we'll wait for that. <laughs> can't have it all, Josie, can you? You want to put you off your lunch, Joyce. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jason, thank you. That was lovely. Thank you very much. Such a nice story, that.